welcome. Uh, my name is Christiane Dobson and I'm going to be giving you a tour of our kitchen renovation today. I wanted to say thank you to Christiana and Circa Houses for asking us to participate in the one room journey. Okay, so I've got the camera flipped and you know like this is the door that leads into the kitchen and just for a quick overall view this is our space so the entire kitchen was actually gutted completely to the studs um you know the the old kitchen that was here um you know like it was definitely due for a little for a bit of a revamp and you know like our ceiling height was actually quite low in here um it came to just about like just above the like where the trim is now um and during the renovation process we actually found out that there was a fire in here at some point and the ceiling that um was in was actually kind of encapsulating the old ceiling that had been damaged and above that in the attic space above above the kitchen there was a floor that was built over the existing um ceiling that was damaged so we had three layers of ceilings going on so with the renovation and, and kind of like gutting the space we actually were able to raise the ceiling height quite a bit probably by about two feet so the ceilings in here are about nine feet, um, which made it feel a lot bigger and a lot airier, which was kind of great. Um, so the entire kitchen, you know, we wanted a really kind of simple and classic look. So one of the major inspirations that you can probably tell is Duvall. And, you know, we also love plain English kitchens and that's kind of the vibe we were going for. You know, we kept it really neutral and really light as the first space you were coming into. And we achieved this look um, through a combination of Ikea cabinets and um, semi-handmade doors and drawer fronts. Um, the table that's here, you know, uh, I had actually been looking for an antique piece of furniture that might work but everything was insanely expensive and also just not the size that I wanted because for the scale of the room I wanted something really large so this table is actually 10 feet long which yeah I mean it's it's a really big table so it's 10 feet long and um what three foot four inches deep so like 40 inches really to do a more modern but very sympathetic to the house kind of renovation you know the house is an 1800s farmhouse in upstate new york it's a greek revival it's a beautiful house and we really wanted to give a nod to the history of the home and not necessarily take it in a really like over modern direction and that was just like not our personal style for the bench you know like we built that completely from scratch and that was something that we built to um kind of echo the dimensions and the scale of the cabinet doors so it all felt very custom and very um very seamless um, but this was completely framed out and built um, by us and we use it as a bench to store um, our outdoor furniture cushions, um, which is really great and a lot of the outdoor stuff gets stored in here. During the winter, um, we, ha we use this as wood store. Right now it's a little bit junky, but um, these are a couple of things that don't have homes right now, so one, one day they'll get um, a bit more tidied up you know like um i was kind of saying like in the beginning but we completely gutted this kitchen and i mean like gutted it um this kitchen was completely down to the studs 
Um, we had plywood covering the opening into the living room because for a long while, the kitchen was basically part of the outside. Like we didn't have windows, we didn't have a door here, it was just like a big cut opening um, because um, there used to be a window where the double doors are right now and right here where we have that hutch, um, there was a door to the outside and there was laundry, like a washer and dryer that was in that corner. And we ended up moving the washer and dryer upstairs. We closed off the door over there because it just really wasn't necessary for us. And we ended up um, replacing the window that was there with, um, with these double doors. And don't feel too bad because um, the doors and windows in here we're not original with the exception of this door. This is an original door to the house and it is insanely heavy. I refinished it myself and I lifted that heavy, heavy door um, back and forth onto this table, which also um, I'm gonna add is an amazing work surface when we need to do construction projects. It's actually been kind of a great table. The stove that's here, um, was something that was um, already here. Originally, I kind of wanted to remove it and get something a little bit cuter. Um, I wanted something with like a glass door where you could see the fire because that was always something I kind of fantasized about. And after the first winter at this house, um, I realized that this stove is amazing and it's never going anywhere. Um, I absolutely love it. It puts out so much heat and for those of us living in cold weather places, you know, and who have like maybe oil heating, which we do, you know, oil's really expensive and like this stove, yeah, it heats the entire kitchen incredibly well and the living room. So we are keeping it forever. Um, we actually uh, built out a new surround for it and pushed it back further in the corner. It was really far forward in the room. Um, so because we were redoing the ceiling and some other work, we decided like, yeah, we'll just put the effort into pushing it back um, and giving ourselves like a lot more room in this area. And yeah, so, you know, it's always super fun to get a glimpse into other people's homes. Like I know I absolutely love it. And I really hope that you guys have enjoyed like the little the little tour of our our kitchen. And yeah, so once again, thank you so much to Christiana and Circa for inviting us to participate and allowing us to open our home to all of you.